What is up guys and welcome back to another video. This is day one of the new Deadman Mode Tournament. $32,000 in prizes. Obviously first place gets $20,000, second place gets $10,000, and third and fourth get $1,000 each. Last tourney, as most of you know, I did come second. So obviously, you know, I'm going to go hard on this tourney. But my main priority is never actually to win. I just want to make some PK content for you guys throughout the week. Because a lot of people like watching DMM PKing. And not a whole lot of people do it on the 20. They're all just like trading for the final hour and stuff. So obviously, you know, day one, we're going to get DT out the way. That's what we do every single time. And then we're just going to start trading so we can hopefully, you know, bring you guys some PK content. Maybe even stream it. So if you guys aren't following my Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Anyway, you know... Get DT done and then we go PKing. This is my day one progress. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoy my DMM videos this week. So the plan was, you know, get the 10k at the start as usual, then go to Lumbridge and get the new starter packs that came out last 20. Then I would make my way back to Varrock and buy myself a Dorogishin crossbow because this time it is like you can actually buy the bone crossbows from the shops to stop clans from locking down like the quest location or whatever. So I got my 10k, Tele to Lumbridge, and got my starter pack. And I didn't actually know you could get like a free Tele to Varrock or, or whatever from Nigel. Apparently you can do that. So I started making my way to uh, Varrock and I started walking there with 10 HP and 11 tuna. Oh no, the level 20 is just standing by the cows, man. Someone has to fucking go Someone go suicide, please, man. One of these level fucking threes. Nah, it can't. Alright, we're all running past. Fuck it. There's no way he targets me out of these people. There's no way. Alright, he didn't target me. <gasps> no, he did! Oh my god, he's actually on me as well. Okay. I have 10 tunas. This isn't good. I might actually die. This is awkward. Okay. I fucking tanked it. So very, very lucky. For me, my starts are the most important, and if I fall behind, it can really ruin my whole tournament. And this guy getting on me, a level 20 on some level on a level 3 with 10 HP, it wasn't looking good for me to be honest. I think I just got some lucky RNG, or maybe his arrows were just really shit. Because he was like 20, he was 20 combat, so like his range was up there, you know. And he had all that uh, room to chase me from from Lumbridge to Varak. I didn't have any run or anything. I ended up using around eight or nine tunas and I know I potentially could have died. I was trying to be like smart to conserve food just in case. But we didn't manage to make it to Varak, and I actually had another friend give me 10k. So at this point I had 20k. I went and bought my bone crossbow, and I actually went to this uh, bar northeast of Varrick. You know, I wasn't buying any alcohol or anything. I was just going there to train on the Black Knight for my mage, and the men and like the thieves for my range. And the plan was to just train there a little bit before I started getting my questing, just to get some HP levels, and just to get those levels I'd need later on a little bit earlier. So at around this point, I already got on myself 45 uh, mage, and I was just training my range, and a bunch of guys with skulls came into the bar. They were looking intimidating. I thought, you know, if I was if I stole what they were trying to like attack, they'd probably hop on me. And I only had T's at this point that had stolen. So I was a little bit scared. So I decided to move, but we didn't actually get our mage levels here. And we did get a couple of combat levels here and there. Uh, but we just had to go train our range somewhere else because this this was kind of scary. So I decided because I had a little extra money, I'd actually use some of it and use the 1k to go to Waterbirth Island and just train at the rock crabs there for a little bit. But uh, obviously, you know, everyone needs agility in Deadman mode, so I decided to hit up Tree Gnome uh, Village real quick, get 30 agility, and then I would make my way to Rock Crabs. So unfortunately, my file did corrupt because it was too long, but basically I went to Rock Crabs, got myself 60 range and 40 death. So my stats were 60 range, 40 death, and uh, 45 magic, and everything else was 1, I had 30 agility. So I wanted to go get my quest started, I wanted to go get on the DT grind. But, you know, people are running around with DDSs and shit. I had to go get myself some overheads first. So I went to the Ecto because it is automatically unlocked. And I managed to get myself 43 prayers with 18 dragon bones. Not expensive at all. So first up on the quest list was the dig site, you know. It's a very long and tedious quest, but I wanted to get it done out right at the bat because it's very dangerous later on because people can just sit sit at places. And because you don't have really have a lot of food because you have to bring all this stuff to like blow up rocks, 
mixed compounds, shit like that. I wanted to do it right away before anyone really got there so I wouldn't get attacked. And we did the dig site first, it wasn't that hard, it just took a little bit of time because obviously no staminas, very little run energy and I had to keep walking back and forth. But we got the dick set out of the way pretty quickly. Next up on the list was the tourist trap. Now the first tourney I ever did, I think it was two tourneys ago. I actually, well, this was when swapping was still allowed, so it wasn't that big a deal. I'd swap for most of my stuff. I had actually come here and there were like four or five rock people just camping out with DDSs and shit. It was really heavily contested. And because you had to actually kill something to get in, they would, pay, they like, they locked me out of tourist trap for a solid three or four hours. So this is obviously another one I wanted to get done quickly because I know people like to lock it down and it's very difficult to do if that happens. So I just went in, got it done right after the dig site and did not take too long at all. Obviously walking through those pathways without stamina is not exactly fun, but we made do and got it done. All right, and that is Taurus Trap done. I think I'm gonna get this in Thieving and choose my second skill. I'm gonna get that in Thieving too. Sick, all right, we've got 32 Thieving now and yeah, we can go do another quest, which is sick. Okay, well, Dad is a little bitch, and apparently he didn't want it, so I can keep going now. 50 mage as well, that's nice. We're about to finish off this uh, troll general and get a little key or whatever. Is that the finishing? Kill? Nah, it's a three. All right, he's dead. Let us pick up the prison key, and we can carry on. All right, and troll stronghold done, nice. All right, 53 thieving. We're gonna do Temple of Ikov, then Waterfall, then DT. Okay, and that is Waterfall done, so now we just have to do Temple of Ikov. Very, very nice, and that gets us the 30-30s as well. Let's go see if we can get a U shortbow or a Magic shortbow to do Temple of Ikov. Ooh, four and then five hours, that's really nice. We haven't even finished the trip yet. Okay, 16 hours, let's go kill this boss the Imagey. Okay, and we successfully killed it with surprisingly not too many arrows, and yeah. Alright, Temple of Ikov done. Let's go do DT. Come on, please no one be waiting there either. I might be good, I might be good. I think I'm good. I can do DT. No one at Eblis either. Oh my god, this is going well. As if I've like failed like 80 times and I finally got it. Um, I got it on the first try. Jesus Christ. Finally got the fucking Gilded Cross, please. All right, the first DT boss is about to be killed. 54 mage as well. And this gives us our first diamond. I think we're going to go do the smoke diamond yeah, next. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's easier out of the other three. So yeah, we're going to go do the smoke diamond after this. This one's dead. Stay spotted with a little rat. And we've got ourselves a shadow diamond. Let's get out of here. Okay, and I think Farid is dead there. 55 mage as well, so we can high alk. And yep, he is dead, giving us our smoke diamond. Very nice. This is going to be a close one. I'm like completely out of food. Is it dead? Okay. I have 29 HP. Okay, I have chocolate cake. That's good. Alright, I can eat that. I should be good. Now we can go get the diamond. Hopefully. So what I really didn't realize is I was, I was completely out of food and I was going to keep taking damage as I walked up this mountain. And by the time I got to the place where I had to free the parents, I was 6 HP out of food and I wasn't even hitting on the ice blocks. I was trying to free them. I was like, oh, come on. I don't want to walk up all the way again. But, you know, I was going to die. I was straight up just going to die. I couldn't even like redemption because I didn't have the prayer level. But I did not want to walk all the way back up here. So I was risking it. I was like, okay, fine. If it gets to like 2 HP, I'm just going to have to telly. I free, I free, what is that, the dad, the mom? I don't know, I get 50 H, 58 mage. I free one of them in one shot. I free one of them, I free the father with a 10, but it takes me like 12,000 hits to free the mother. I do actually get it on the tick that I tellied out with, so maybe if I stayed there, I could have got tellied out and not died, but I don't know, I didn't want to risk it, and I actually wasted all that time because I had to walk back there and talk to the parents even though I'd already freed them. Okay, well, we had to tell you last time because we were literally 1 HP, but we did actually manage to free both of them, so I might have been able to do it. But I was literally 1 HP. Anyway, we have got the Ice Diamond now, which is very nice. And we can go get the final one. This is going to be close as fuck. I'm completely out of food. I just need a hit. Come on, mage, hit. No, no, no. I don't need a level. I just need a hit. Come on. Nine. Just die, bro. Please. Oh, my God. We're 14 HP. <gasps> we still got hit. Okay, okay, okay. Well, now we just need to go back and get our fucking diamond. Okay, and uh, wait, have I finished DT? 
Uh, yeah, I have. Sick. We've got our uh, ancients unlocked. So we should probably start training and shit, huh? Cool. Ancients. So I completed DT about 12 hours in. I could have done it a lot earlier, but there's other stuff I was doing with the team. And obviously I made a couple mistakes here and there. If I did it perfectly, I probably could have done it nine hours in, but it didn't really matter. No one else is really running around with Ancients PKing yet. I think the only person who actually did DT before me was Manked. And uh, he, he wasn't PKing yet because he obviously needed to get his stats up and stuff like that. So I would have been fine. And it was just time to alc up my mage, train my range up, and we'd also get melee as well because, you know... Uh, all the like quests are complete like the uh, monkey madness. I don't have to go do monkey madness I can just go get 60 attack and use my D skim Anyway guys that is gonna be it for today's video You know that's only like the first 13 14 hours of day one the rest, you know I'm not gonna sleep yet. I'm gonna train. I'm gonna get 94 mage I'm gonna get my melee stats up I'm gonna get my range up and we should be PKing with barrage in tomorrow's video with some pretty insane stats because I'm really going grinding hard for you guys so make sure you're subscribed to see tomorrow's PKing video. I can't 100% guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure we'll have something out. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following the Twitch, and I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.